is ready to go book shopping in Edinburgh because I am going to take you along with me today. We're filming a vlog and a really fun like one day vlog where I'm actually being joined by Leanne and Victoria. So Victoria is currently visiting Scotland and today Leanne is driving Victoria through to Edinburgh and we're going to spend the day together book shopping, wandering the city, having a fun touristy experience, showing things to Victoria and probably buying a ton of books plus eating because food is also a massive part of the Edinburgh experience. So that's what's happening today and I thought it would therefore be nice to take you along with us. I will obviously have Leanne and Victoria's channels linked down below so you can check them out but I am so excited. I have been, I am so stressed. I say I have been, it's not gone away, it's not miraculously gone. I am really struggling at the moment with stress and anxiety because I am really in the crunch period of my PhD. I'm spending most of my weekends working. I'm very busy in a lot of ways and there's a ton of stuff going on in my university, like attempts to close down the entire department by the vice chancellor. I can't even bring myself to go into it all here, um, but I will link the petition down below for you to sign if you would like to support Roehampton Classics and the humanities in general in the UK. Yeah, I feel like I've just dumped something massive in this vlog, but I, I can't. Look, I'm having, an, it's a nice fun day out. I am not dwelling on the depressing stuff. So yeah, a day out with my friends is exactly what the doctor ordered. Splurging on some books, just having fun. It's all about to happen and I'm simply now waiting for Victoria and Leanne to arrive. I'm setting up breakfast for them because it's not even 9am and we're going to have a lovely catch up and munch and coffee and tea drink and then wander. So if you'd like to come shopping in Edinburgh, see a little bit of the city, check out some of the bookshops, see what Victoria, Leanne and I buy, then stick around, watch this video because that's what you're going to get to the vlog. Be vlogged. <laughs> <laughs> iconic landmarks, the Greyfriars Bobby statue. Um, are you enjoying your Edinburgh tour, Victoria? Very much. Yeah. Touch the statue as well, yeah. So, uh, fan fact: don't touch the statue. This is bad. Don't do this. Bad for the statue. Bad for germs. Stay away. This is uh, Candlemakers Row next to Bobby. Um, this was traditionally where uh, all the candlemakers shops were. <laughs> No longer, except for our fave Black Moon Botanica, which is this like witchy shop that also candles. makes candles. All candles. Yeah, and there's a science fiction fantasy bookshop here, Transville. A collection of early told Scottish Gothic Ooh. ghost stories. Ooh. Victoria also has a book. I do have that. It's a very pretty stories. cover. Yes, mm -hmm. it is very yes.
Yeah. What have you got? Oh, it's a marker cake. And who is this? This is Kelly Clark's art. Kelly Clark does like witchy stuff and like ephemeral stuff and fairy stuff. And, and we, we both have it. some of her artwork. Yeah, it's lovely. Really, really She's a Scottish artist. Yes. How has this happened? I've got some things to try on. You you have a lot of things. You Three have things. a crushed velvet thing. Confession time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know when you see those like Facebook posts of like people's dogs with a little banner next to them and what they did? <laughs> I need one for Victoria this. shaming. There are 12. 12. That's fine. That's 12. less than 20. Carefully, <laughs> carefully curated books that you're going to love. That I'm very that's, excited that's about, to be fair. Yeah. Like, Anything you're most excited about? Um. Well, the only one that I meant to buy... <laughs> was this one <laughs> so we're excited for this mm -hmm. um that's a good book i can recommend yeah i mean i'm excited for all of them to be fair <laughs> but that was the only one i actually meant to buy <laughs> i love that she's just like like a squirrel with all of her stock like <laughs> what else did i get what'd you get you're gonna ask me the same question well most of my sins are in the back oh so we but, can't see them but no no i've got some sins here <laughs> This is your fault though, isn't it? Yeah, but that's yeah. a good book, so I don't feel bad. It is no, really good. I'm excited and you liked it as well. Oh uh, yeah. So I've got fifty pages of my record. And I was be. very good and I didn't get the hard back. I it's a really quick back. read as well. Yeah, it is. So there's this it's one like and then what pages. was the other one that I got? Hold on. This was in Lighthouse Books, yeah. which is like Oh, this one was a recommendation from Jen, so I don't feel bad about that either. <laughs> Ta-da! Yeah, that's a non-fiction one. Yes, um, about chronic illness and like the world's perception of it, yeah. which I feel like is very on brand. <laughs> We're ready. <laughs> yeah. Right, these are the two books I got in Lighthouse, which are both non-fiction, which means they're definitely not getting read no. until after the PhD. Absolutely not. But I'm very excited for both of them, and PhD's over soon, so it's fine. Um, this is Enraged by Emily Katz and Holt, and the subtitle is Why Violent Times Need Ancient Greek Myths. Uh, very <laughs> on brand. So this is a bit more of an academic one. It's by Yale University Press, but I think it's one of those books that sort of draws um, like attention to the relevance of classical myth and ancient myth to, to now. Yes. Which is a good reminder when they're trying to cut all the humanities departments at universities <laughs> across England and sack all the staff. Yeah, it's so, so timely. <laughs> point <laughs> the rage on your face was great um, don't we, lose that 
<laughs> then we have Brick by Brick, which uh, how we build a world without prisons. Um, pretty self-explanatory. Yes. But I read a lot of books about like um, prison abolition, and I like the idea that this one's very specifically about like what the post-prison world looks like. I thought that sounded good. I really want to know what you think about that because yeah. uh, again, I've read a lot on the abolition of prisons mm. as well, and I feel like there's never really much detail in the alternative solution, and I need to know where we're going afterwards as well as the theory it behind is it. Interesting when you think about the fact that prisons are quite a new thing. Yes. Um, society existed for a long, 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 long time without prisons. Accurate. So, yeah, but I, I think, yeah, to have it all laid out and sort of analysis of it, I'm excited. So, yeah, I Yay. also made a, bought a little uh, dice game in Backwells. And it was really interesting how uh, we went outside to put all of our other Blackwell purchases. We uh, two minutes. Yeah, in the car. And then Jean just arrived and went, I did a thing. I literally went to go to the toilet and get yeah. it. <laughs> yes. It looks cute. Um, it's mm-hmm. by Cosmos, which is a game publisher that I really like. Yeah, um, we love Cosmos. They do exit a, games. It's a die rolling game. Oh, me and Chris love die because they're just mm-hmm. they're. I mean, they're very much like fancy versions of Yahtzee. Do you know yes. what I mean? But they're just really nice little mind relaxers. Yes. I think so. So that was good justification for that. Well done. Yes. <laughs> Last bookshop, are we are we do we have the us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool, yes. cool, cool. Let's do it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> because yes it is the evening i am back from my wonderful day out let's be honest that's the only way it can be described i had the nicest time with both leanne and victoria and then jill chris and harry all met us for dinner which was splendiferous we went to one of our favorite places here in edinburgh which is mum's it's mum's comfort food specifically which is located up near the university in the old town of edinburgh and it specializes in comfort food you know sausages mash it has loads of veggie and vegan options macaroni and cheese burgers milkshakes lovely we had such a nice time um finishing off the evening and i am so tired but it was like a really nice kind of exhaustion like it is a nice kind of exhaustion in the way that when you just have a lovely time and all this energy is expended and you're ready to go to bed and soothed and calmed and relaxed from spending the day with wonderful people who care about you and that you care about too so it was very beneficial and I know you saw some of the books we bought but I thought before I did you know head off for bed I would just show you the last couple of things I didn't show in the vlog or that I don't think I showed in the vlog, honestly. I've lost the plot as to what we filmed. I did show this board game, I believe, but I wanted to show you it inside now that I've opened it because it's a dice rolling game and the artwork is gorgeous. This is the booklet sheet. There's two dice. Um, One has leaves. Oh no, they both have leaves on them, but they've got some interesting symbols. So I obviously don't know what those mean because I haven't played it yet. I'm going to try it this week, but look at the um score pads or the like game sheets that you play with they are just beautiful like and there's ones for every different season um so yeah if you're into dice rolling games that might be one to check out because it looks gorgeous and it's called rustling 
leaves so yeah excited to play that so i'm trying to remember where i left you um but we did go into Stockbridge, which we'll, you will have seen from some of the footage, visited some more of our favourite like indie bookshops, introduced them to Victoria, specifically Rare Birds, which specialises in books written by women, and Golden Hair, which just always has such a unique selection. And I ended up with a couple of things from both places. So the first book I bought was in... Um, so the first book I bought was in Rare Birds, and it's Paybacks a Witch by Lana Harper love this cover was immediately drawn in by the title and based on the blurb it seems to be about three modern day witches with magical powers who have been dating the same guy without knowing he's not told any of them that he's dating the other ones they all think they're in exclusive relationships with him and when they find out they decide it's time for revenge and some witchy revenge of that so that just sounded like a lot of fun and exactly like what i'm looking for at the moment so thought i'd pick that up and then i picked up two non-fiction-esque books in golden hair the first of which is the japanese myths a guide to god's heroes and spirits by joshua friedman uh this is published by times and hudson and it's actually part of a series they do of different world mythologies i own greek it's Greek and Roman myths by them and I also own Egyptian myths by them. My partner Chris has Celtic myths and I think this must be one of their more recent additions to the series because I've not seen it in the bookshops before although I could have just you know missed it. Yeah no it is it came out in 2022 so it's much more recent and obviously it's all about Japanese myth and I really like these books because not only do they tell you some of the stories and myths but they give you a lot of like historical background, fun facts, like context just like little bits of information about genres of literature from those cultures there's little pictures in here so yeah it, it's nice because it's like a little overview of everything and the author is a professor of japanese mythology and studies so probably knows their stuff and then i picked up the tiniest little book which was recommended to me by the bookseller in golden hair who was so lovely really 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 nice um i ended up signing a copy of my book while i was there my children's book greek myths because they had it on display in the children's se section which even two years on it's not quite two years but even two years on since that book came out whenever i see it in a bookshop i get so excited it's like the most thrilling experience so yeah i had a lovely time at that bookshop and the bookseller was so so helpful and showed me this little book which is called dancing in the dark a survivor's guide to university um and it's by three different authors and yeah it's basically about like the modern university and academic environment um and a comment on that it sounds really interesting we were talking about our experiences of higher education phds masters just all of that um and what went into it and kind of um the red tape around it the good the bad and everything and basically the bookseller put this in my hand and um said they knew who wrote it and that i should absolutely read it so of course i picked up a copy so that's what I picked up in Stockbridge. Absolutely lovely day, like I mentioned. Got some really cool stuff. Really looking forward to reading it all. I'll probably do an actual book haul soon where I talk more about it. I'm realising now that I managed to bash the bottom of this in my bag. But, you know, that's just a memory. <laughs> Physical memory of the day. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed coming along on this little adventure with me. A little bit different. Don't often do one day vlogs but it was kind of nice to just you know film and take you along on a relaxing day amidst what is the most stressful period of my entire life the most anxiety inducing period of my life I yeah I'm very very high strung at the moment but seeing friends and having a little bit of an escapist adventure around Edinburgh really helped so yeah thanks for coming along if you made it to the end of this vlog I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you all in the next one bye